Live now to Jason Clare, the Shadow Minister for Housing and Homelessness. Jason, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. A bit to get through here, but first of all, I do want to ask you about uh, some mental health statistics that have come out overnight, a, a survey conducted by YouGov and News Corp as well. It shows the, the stunning effect that the COVID crisis is having on mental health and in particular those of the younger generation. W what's your response to it and is that what you're seeing in your electorate? I'm not surprised at all by it, Pete. It's hard to describe to people who aren't in lockdown what this is like, but it, it's, it's sort of like an invisible weight that's on your shoulder. It's made worse uh, if you've lost your job, if you've lost income, or if, if you're a parent at home scrambling to try and do your job and look after the kids and homeschool at the same time. You know, I talk to parents all the time, a lot, you know, crying to me on the phone with the, the challenges of trying to look after their kids and educate them at the same time as comply with all the rules. The, the, the challenge here, mate, is, you know, we're all over this, uh, but it, it's not it's not ending anytime soon. Um, this is the 10th week of lockdown. School's not expected to go back for another eight weeks, and that's only half of Sydney. Uh, God knows when school will go back here in Bankstown or in Western Sydney. We're told that we don't get our life back until we reach 80% double dose. Uh, well, I was just looking at the Sky News ticker. We're only at 36% double dose at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we're not even halfway there yet. Uh, think of all the mental health challenges we're dealing with in Sydney here and in Melbourne and other places right now. We've still got a long way to go. No wonder people are sick of it. But the only way out of this is vaccination. Yeah. And it's still taking too long to get everyone vaccinated. So given, and I do, I do have some vaccination questions, but, but still on mental health, does this... Does this energise the need to be able to give people their freedoms back once they hit 70 and 80 per cent vaccination targets, those that are double dosed? Oh, you bet. You know, I think that's what people are hanging out for. It's part of the reason why there's queues around the corner just outside this office of people getting vaccinated today. People are hungry to get back to life. We're living a half-life here. We're not grizzly bears. We're not used to hibernating. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we want life to get back to normal. That's why people are getting vaccinated for their own health, but also to get their life back. So, the, so is Mark McGowan and Anastasia Palaszczuk by threatening to keep their borders closed? Are they taking the wrong approach? Well, I, th I think one thing you've got to understand here is that seventy percent, eighty percent means different things in Western Australia or Queensland or Tasmania or South Australia than it does here. We get to 80% here in Sydney, we get our life back. You know, we, we get to get... Shalom, Yashwala. Shalom. Rakathi Awa, Rakathi Awa Shai. Bahashem, Raka Kadash. Double honours to the Apostle and the elders of Great Millstone, to each one of you well. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow labourers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Ak with the listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, the title of this lesson, most will fold. Most will fold. And I had to stop the video there because repeatedly this anchor, this guy being interviewed on uh, Sky News Australia, title of the article is people in lockdown are hungry to get their lives back but I have to stop it because this man repeatedly saying get our life back get our life back get our life back I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind it a little and then Lord willing we'll touch some scriptures right and and and, and, and what they're saying is um 36% so far are juiced. And government officials are saying they need 80% to let people out, man. You know what I mean? To get their life back, right? I want to touch a scripture. I want to touch a scripture. Isaiah, and that's unrighteous degrees, man. You know what I mean? Take this Vanessa and we give you back your so-called life. You see me? 
And that's why most of these people, that's why most people will fold, man, to get their so-called life back. Isaiah 10 verse 1, and it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, right? Destruction unto them. And who's to them? These, 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 these banking families, man. The banker families, right? The ruling class elites, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white men, right? The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, right? Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, right? That make in the law unrighteous laws. And that write grievances, grievousness, which they have prescribed. Prescribed, pre-written, grievousness, right? Mischief. Let's look at that word, grievousness. Mischief, trouble. Amal. Strong's H, 5999. Amal. Amal. Right, in the, re in the Hebrew. Toil, trouble, labor, trouble, mischief. Right? And that's what these wicked elites are doing, man. Right? Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Right? Making the law unrighteous laws. And that right grievances, mischief, which they have prescribed, pre-written. Right? Frameth mischief. Let's get that. With Allah. Right? And that's what these devils are doing. Both of these are good. Psalms 94 verse 20. And it reads, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? Right? The throne, the rulership of iniquity. Sin upon sin. Right? Esau, Edom. The ruling class elites. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? With who? Yasharala. Israel being a people before a place. You so-called indigenous, you so-called Negro, you so-called, you so-called Latino. Which frameth mischief by a lot, right? Frameth their mischief by a lot. Let's look at this word frameth. Strong's age 3335. Yat sad. And that's what these devils are doing, man. Right? To form, fashion, frame. Right? To form mischief. To fashion mischief by Allah and that's what these wicked devils are doing man you know what I mean right with laws with their laws set with their laws and their decrees right let's continue with this uh article get 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 our life back get our life back that's that's their that's their narrative and that's why that's why most people will fold man this is our temptation Right? This is the this is the prelude to the MOTB. The M A R K. Revelation thirteen verse sixteen on down. This is the this is the framework. This is this is the inf this is the framework of how they're gonna roll it out. Let's continue. No wonder people are sick of it, but the only way out of this is vaccination. Yeah. And it's still taking too long to get everyone vaccinated. Yeah, you see that? The only way out of this is what? Right? Frameth mischief by a lot. These devils. Revelation 3. You queue it up. We'll listen to some more of it. These devils know they have but a short time. They're rolling, man. They're, they're, they're pushing it along. And this is in Australia. But this is coming to America. Babylon the Great. America the Great. Right? It's coming. So given, uh, and I do, I do have some vaccination questions, but, but still on mental health, does this, does this energise the need to be able to give people their freedoms back once they hit 70 and 80% vaccination targets, those that are double dosed? Oh, you bet. You know, I think that's what people are hanging out for. It's part of the reason why there's queues around the corner just outside this office of people getting vaccinated today. 
people are hungry to get back to life. We're living a half-life here. We're not grizzly bears. We're not used to hibernating. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we want life to get back to normal. That's why people are getting vaccinated for their own health, but also to get their life back. So, the, so is Mark McGowan and Anastasia Palaszczuk by threatening to keep their borders closed? Are they take? How many times did you hear him say, "Get your life back"? Right? Give back freedoms. Right, and that's the hour of temptation coming for two thirds of our people, and along with these heathen nations, two thirds of our pe- two thirds of our people who don't want to hear who don't want to hear none of this, and and trust in Egypt, trust in Babylon the Great. They're going to be among those that fold, man, that fold to get their life back, get their freedoms back. Revelation three verse ten and it reads, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from our from the hour of temptation." Right, and this red letter. Our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai, right? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, the word of my patience, this truth, right? Returning to the Most High Yahweh Shai, Shai, patience means to suffer. Once you're in this truth, you suffer, man. It's not a cakewalk, right? And who's in this truth? Who's suffering? The elect. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right, Yahweh is telling us that he's going to keep his elect from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, the whole world, man, the whole planet is going to be faced with a decision, man. Right now, this this, this venom, this finessa, it's an hour of temptation. People are faced with loss of employment. People are faced with loss of income. Right? Those are the main two right there, loss of employment, loss of income. People are going to fold. To hang on to their employment, to hang on to their impl- to, 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 to their income, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right, all the world, you two thirds, you heathen nations, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right, two thirds of people are gonna are, are gonna fold, give in, take it. You know what I mean? Right? Matthew 6, verse 24. For filthy lucre, for mammon. Matthew 6, verse 24, and it reads. And this is red letter once again. Our Lord said this. No man can serve two masters. For either, will, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Right. Do I take it? Do I not take it? I need to keep this money. I need to keep this bag. Right. You cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. Right. Money. Right. So two thirds of our people. Along with these heathen nations. They serve money. They serve lusts. They serve the cares of this world. And the elect, they serve Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? So you see the separation. Right? Two thirds of our people. They're going to go the way of this, 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 this juice. And the elect are going to consider to serve, continue to serve righteousness, man. Serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? It all, it all boils down to faith. Two thirds of the people ain't got no faith, man. You know what I mean? They don't believe. They've heard this word. Two thirds of the people have heard this word. And, and they don't believe Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can save, man. Isaiah 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand, Yahweh, all caps, is not shortened, that it cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Right. If the Mosai said, the Mosai said his word shall not go void. The Mosai said he'll shield his elect. The Mosai said, because thou, thou have kept the word of thy patience. Right. I'll also keep thee. Right. From the hour of temptation. I don't want to butcher it. Right, if the Mosai said this, I 
because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also I will also I will keep thee, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right, the Mosai Yahweh Shai said, He will keep his he will keep his beloved, his saints, his elect from the hour of temptation. Right, if the Mosai said it, he's gonna do it, man. Right? And that, and that's the problem with Jake. That's the problem with two thirds of our people. No faith, man. Isaiah 55, verse 11, and it reads, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Right, whatever the Mosai said is going to go, going to happen, is going to happen. It's not going to come back void. It's not going to come back empty. But it shall accomplish that which I please. Right, whatever he says is going to do, it's going to do. It's going to accomplish it. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto, whereto I sent it. Right? Whatever the Most High said he's going to do, he's going to do. Right? The elect have the faith. Right? Back to Isaiah 59 verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand, Yahweh, is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither is his, hair, is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Verse 2. And this is the two-thirds right here. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, right? Two-thirds are separated from Yahweh B'Shem Shai. Their iniquities, their sin upon sin has separated them from Yahweh B'Shem Shai, from the source. That's why they're going to fold, man. And your sins have hid his face from you, right? Two-thirds. Most High is not even dealing with the two-thirds. That he will not hear, and he's not going to hear, man, when that time of trouble comes. Right, because there's no going back to normal. This thing's done, it's through. But I pray edified. I don't want to stay prayed, I pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala, Wa Abad Babal.